Chris, the, the cost of uh, CyberCab, the operating cost is probably going to be around 20 cents a mile. So, yes, and you will be able to buy one. <laughs> we, we expect the cost to be below $30,000. We, we do expect actually to, st to start uh, fully autonomous, uh, unsupervised FSD uh, in Texas and California next year. That, that's obviously that's with the Model 3 and Model Y. We, we expect to be in production with the, the cyber cap uh, in probably, well, I tend to be a little optimistic with time frames. Um, but but in, to, in, in 2026. <laughs> Before 2027, let me put it that way. But well before that, you will, you will experience the, uh, a robotic taxi via the Model 3 and Model Y program. And Model S and X2. So, and it's Cybertruck 2, yes, of course. Sorry, I don't want to be, yes, yes, yes. All our cars, uh, basically. Um, all cars that we make. Let's not get new ones here. All right, next slide. <laughs> um, and, and, and I want to emphasize that the, the solution that we have is, is AI and vision. So there's no um, expensive equipment needed. So, um, and, and that means that our cost of producing the vehicle is, is low. All right. So our autonomous future is, is here. Um, as I said, we've got 50 Teslas driving autonomously. Something we're also doing is, uh, and it's really high time we did this, is uh, inductive charging. The rover taxi has no plug. It, it just uh, goes over the inductive charger and charges. One of the things that like, is really interesting is, is how will this affect this, the cities that we live in? So what would happen if you have an autonomous world is that you can now turn parking lots into parks. You do, we're, taking, we're taking the ing lot out of parking lot. There's a lot of opportunity to, to create... Uh, green space in the cities that we live in. Also, what, 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 what happens if you need a vehicle that uh, is bigger than a Model Y? The Robovan is, uh, this is, a, we, we're going to make this, and it's going to look like that. Now, can you imagine going down the streets and you see this coming towards you? That'd be sick. So this can, this can carry up to 20 people, and it can also uh, transport goods. The Robovan is what's going to solve for high density. E everything we've developed for our cars, the batteries, power electronics, uh, the advanced motors, gearboxes, the, the software, the, uh, the AI inference computer, it all actually applies to a humanoid robot. It's the same techniques. It's just a robot with arms and legs instead of a robot with, with wheels. And 